So I thought I'd do a quick video on how to get a good consistency for your gouache. And I wanted to show you, so this is just gonna go through uh, the materials real quick for gouache. I have my um, Series 7 Windsor & Newton. I have a three here and a one, a round one and a round three. I have a hot press paper from Arches. I have uh, my painter's palette or pan, paper towels for my dabbing. And then I just have some, some water and all of my paint. So these are all just Holbin gouache, Holbin artist squash. This is uh, just a bunch of different like colors. I have a jet black, a Chinese orange that I love. And what's really great about these is the vibrancy that you can get out of them. So I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial on what kind of consistency you should get. So I'm gonna show you how to get a good consistency. Um, this is all dry, this is all dry paint. You can leave it there. What I'm gonna show you is, here's, a, here's an orange, and when you take it out of the tube, so you just take a little bit, that's plenty. You don't need a lot. And to get a good consistency, I'm gonna use um, this Windsor & Newton Round 1 Series 7. I'm just gonna get a little bit of water. First, I'm gonna dab it on there just to get any old paint off. You can see there's a little bit of green and that just helps get any of that old paint off your brush. Just take a little bit of water on there. You just wanna get the brush wet and you wanna go from the side into the paint and you're just gonna try to get a consistency where it's not too wet, but a creamy, see that? Can even get it a little bit thicker. See that? That's a pretty good consistency right there. That's what I would usually paint with. So once you get that smooth consistency going, you want to, you'll be able to see that vibrancy and Just take a little bit more water as you go, back and forth, keeping that consistency, and you should be able to get some really smooth lines out of it. Now, if you add too much water, if you add too much water, you'll get a lighter more transparent color and that's the difference between the consistencies where this one we had a more creamy consistency this one had too much water and it left a little bit more of a transparent color. Both are fine, but you might have a preference um, on the looks that you're going for. Cause you can always come back after you get a creamy, con another creamy consistency on here and you can go over it and you can add a different style. In between, you want to wash your brush off and get any of the excess paint off before you move to another color. And I just go back and forth about three or four times until you get a pretty good clean brush. And that's it.